Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to the channel. I thought that it would be fun to do a Thanksgiving week vlog just because I have quite a few books that I'm going to be reading for Thanksgiving. So, with the new camera, I thought why not? Uh, so it is Monday morning and I just got done um, forgive the mess it is a little bit of craziness uh, filming my Christie haul uh, so the books that I got while I was in Nashville and stuff like that I would take you around and do a bit of a reading vlog and a little bit of a life vlog for Thanksgiving so As I was uh, taking off stickers and such, I forgot. So my mom and I spent the day like shopping while we were in Nashville on one of the days, and we went to Home Goods, and I found something. It's so cute. So I got a Fall Y'all and a Hello Fall Ray Dunn mug, which I absolutely love. Um, <clears throat> but because it was fall, it was on sale for eight dollars. So I got both of them for $8 and I'm super excited. It made me think of um, Amanda walking through just because of how much she loves home goods and her mugs and her Ray Dunn mugs. Um, and the Fall Y'all mug is just up my alley. It's green and it's Fall Y'all. Uh, so I'm super pumped to add it to my mug collection. All right, so I'm about to head off to work. Um, but before I did, I wanted to show you the books that I will be reading this week for Thanksgiving. Pretty good. I'll start with the one that isn't necessarily, um, like, Thanksgiving. But I do have to read it this week because I am doing a buddy read. And that is Friendship by Savannah Scott. And this is not um, Christian fiction, but it is a clean, sweet read. Um, and I am buddy reading it with a group of girls on Instagram. And I'm super, super excited. I am a couple chapters in and I'm already loving it. I know it is going to be an absolute hoot. It is a Friends to More um, rom-com which I love and it just, I know, is going to be a blast. This is book one in a series. So, yes, super excited. So that will be read this week. Um, but now on to the two books that I'm for sure going to be reading for Thanksgiving. That is... Pumpkin Spice and Not So Nice by Becky Monson and A Pumpkin and a Patch by Jennifer Peel. So I will be reading these rom-coms for um, like the week of Thanksgiving. I'm super excited about them. They're folly. They're great. So yes. I'm not sure what they're about um, but again I go into things blind but I know that I'll be reading those. And then Depending on if I have time or not, uh, I would like to try to finish The Premonition at Withers Farm by Jamie Jo Wright. Those are the four books that I'm going to try to get done this week. Alright guys, a little bit of a check-in. It is late Monday evening. I'm actually getting ready to hit the hay. I mean, it's not super, super late, but... Um, I am very tired and I have an early shift tomorrow. It's going to be a long day for me, so I think I'm going to hit the hay. I was kind of productive this evening though. I got my room clean, laundry done, I got um, some tours. You guys saw that I signed up for some Just Free tours, which again, a publicity company that does wonderful work and if you can, definitely check them out. Love the girls there. Um, and then I also started editing some videos as well. So overall, pretty productive evening. I did not get anything read, um, but that's okay for now because I did have a very productive evening, evening getting some stuff done that I know I needed to get done. So tomorrow, the objective is to start uh, Pumpkin Spice and Not So Nice. Hello all, it is Tuesday evening, about a little after nine. Uh, we just got home from uh, 
church and my siblings and I ran out and got a bite to eat. So just getting home. I knew I'd probably be on the quiet side today if I filmed anything just because I had a very long day at work and then I knew we had church after. Um, but like I went straight from work to church. I'm still in my scrubs. Uh, so yes, I am a very, very tired ducky this evening. But I just wanted to pop on and say hello. Tuesday did exist. I will probably be cozying up and reading some of um, Pumpkin Spice and Not So Nice. I think that's one that I'm starting with. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. But I did want to pop on and say hello officially for Tuesday. am a little bit over a uh, hundred pages into pumpkin spice and not so nice um according to goodreads that's about like 46 percent so it's super cute it is a little after midnight and uh, while i'm loving the book and would absolutely finish it tonight i have an early morning at work tomorrow thankfully it's a shorter day but it's still an early morning so i have to get some sleep um, but the story is so cute so far. I'm really loving it. The main character, Jenna, is so quirky and fun and just, it's all told from her perspective. Um, so the inner dialogue is just making me chuckle. She is, has been in a bunch of relationships with emotionally unavailable men, um, and it's like her, t she says her toxic trait is that they open up to her and she fixes them. And then they break up with her and get married right after. She's just never the one that they choose. So it's just been this whole thing. And then enter Aiden St. Clair. And he is just a grump. And it's the sunshine grump trope going on, which I love. Um, and he enlists her help to help him because he is very gruff and he has a hard time talking and opening up to people and his last girlfriend told him and broke up with him um, because he was a brick wall so he enlists her help to help him out and just kind of open up in this whole thing through like a myriad of uh, situations so yeah I'm sure it's going to be a blast and as they fall for each other it's gonna be so much fun um, I will say this is not Christian fiction. Um, it is a clean, sweet read, meaning that it will be closed door. Um, so there is flirting and there is, um, chemistry and stuff like that, but there is no open door scenes in the bedroom. But, um, it also means that there is some mild language. There hasn't been too too much but there has been some so I just wanted to let everybody know that that is something that is occurring just because it's not Christian but it is um, clean overall so 
yes i am on chapter 12 and i'm very excited to pick it up tomorrow and i will most definitely finish it tomorrow um, and i will update you on my thoughts then so yeah that's my check-in for today pretty productive day pretty happy um but now i'm going to bed i will check in with you guys in the morning good night Happy Wednesday. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Ah, super excited. I love Thanksgiving. Um, just seeing the family and hanging out. It's, it's a lot of fun. I didn't have to show you, of course, the day before Thanksgiving. I had to wear my pumpkin pie shirt. It's so cute. And my fall outfit. My cheetah shoes gotta gotta give all the fall vibes all right friends it is many hours later i'm home from work i've had lunch and now it is time to jump back into <laughs> pumpkin spice not so nice one thing so they are companion books and this book is about jenna and then a pumpkin and a patch is about josie and their cousins and i think there might be happening like at the same time like the stories technically so i'm wondering if we'll get aspects of um like jenna's story around or if they happen at a little bit of a different time but we shall see Do a quick check-in it's 5 30 on wednesday and i just finished pumpkin spice and not so nice by becky monson i rated it a four out of five star i really enjoyed the story it was super cute overall um the characters were so lovable both jenna and aiden josie and reese which i'm so excited to read about them next um and just the rest of the Peterson clan and Aiden's family that you meet. Uh, and it was just really sweet. There was a lot of like heartfelt moments that you don't really expect from like a rom-com. But you really get and you get like life lessons that kind of like altered <laughs> Jenna's mind and what she thought about herself. And made her rethink everything. And it was just a lot of fun. There was a lot of heart to it and swooning and chemistry and just greatness and it was so cute and I loved that it was all from Jenna's perspective. It was fun to be in her head and hear her inner dialogue um, though I definitely wish that we had been able to see some of Aiden's perspective because it's definitely a like he falls first kind of thing but she's kind of dense. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't see it but the reader can definitely tell and it's just oh, it, it was adorable it really was the grumpy sunshine trope and um like she helps him out with some stuff and just like it was cute it was adorable and if you maybe it's just my glasses fogging up <laughs> um yeah if you need like a fall read rom-com for next year definitely definitely look into picking up uh this book i'm sure uh, pumpkin and a patch is gonna be just just as cute i'm really excited for that one um i will say though again it's not christian fiction so there was some very minimal 
very little amounts of language, mild language, um, but it was still in there for anyone who uh, doesn't enjoy that. I, for one, don't find it enjoyable. It bothers me when it is included, um, but you don't really know those things until you're going into it. And I will say with this one, it was very, very minimal. Um, so, but I just wanted to let you know. But other than that, it's closed door, nothing happens um, on the page. There is chemistry, um, there is tension, and it, I would probably say it's on like the slow burn type. Um, but it's definitely there. So if that's something that you don't enjoy, maybe stay away from it. But if it is something you do enjoy and you're looking for a good fall read, definitely pick it up. So that's my little check-in. I have officially finished one of the books for the week. So next I will be picking up a pumpkin and a patch. And I have a little bit of cleaning to do around the house just to get ready for tomorrow. Um, but then I will definitely be starting that. Candy Cane Hollow, where every day feels like Christmas. So it's a murder mystery set around Christmas in a place called Candy Cane Hollow. How perfect is that? I just, I cannot wait to read this. I need to read this book. And I also... It is a little after nine um, and I just wanted to do a check-in. A lot has transpired since I last checked in and I finished my beautiful book. Um, I cleaned my room. <laughs> like, deep cleaned it. Honestly, I'm pretty happy. Uh, you saw my beautiful nativity scene. I love it so much. But that just like sparked this desire in me to like finish cleaning my room. Which I had started earlier in the week but like actually finished it. Don't mind the pile that is down here. Those boxes in this area are my boxes for my December um, or quarter four book box, Faith and Fiction book box. It's all of the goodies. I just have to wait in on a few more things and then I'll put those boxes together. So those will be leaving soon. Um, then I have some Christmas presents and like and such and things that I have to move tomorrow. I just don't have I'm not going out to the garage right now or outside so I will take care of those in the morning but everything else is nice and clean so I love it um I am just waiting for the kitchen to open up so that I can start the potatoes for tomorrow um and I have to wait four hours for those to cook so while those are cooking I will be starting a pumpkin and a patch which is Josie's story and my sister has a friend over, um, and I am absolutely pumped to read this one. But I like to try to match my bookmark to the book that I'm reading as best as I can. Um, and this one I did at last I see the light. Um, I got this from forever ago, a company called Bibliophile Prints. Like when I first started Instagram and like finding small shops and stuff. Um, and yes, I know it's not fallish. I actually don't have any fall bookmarks that I can find. My bookmarks are a little crazy. I really should probably go through them. Um, but just based off of what we found out about Josie and Reese in uh, Pumpkin Spice and Not So Nice, since they are kind of reoccurring characters, um, I feel like that bookmark will go well with their story. So it's kind of pointless information, but I thought I'd give it to you anyways.
check-in. It's about 2.45. Um, I had to wait for the potatoes to finish cooking in the crock pot before I can mash them and everything, and they got it done about this time. So, have to go do that before I can go to bed. Um, but, in that meantime, while they were cooking, I was able to finish A Pumpkin and a Patch by Jennifer Peel. Um, and it was cute. Um, it, it had some sizzle to it. I definitely love Josie and Reese. The story did have wonderful lessons and wonderful growth. Um, if you read the books, I definitely, definitely think you should start with A Pumpkin and a Patch. Um, it starts just uh, like a few days before, uh, Pumpkin Spice and Not So Nice. And I do love that they correlate and they happen at the same time. Um, and I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to miss anything by reading the other one first and whatnot. But I think it'd be cool to see that, like, the beginning of the timeline here. Um, I love that the authors did such a good job talking to each other and really making sure that the stories felt the same while also feeling like you really were getting two different characters um, from Josie's point of view and from Jenna's point of view. I think they both did a wonderful job really staying similar um, but staying true to their own writing style which I really really enjoyed. Um, I rated A Pumpkin and a Patch four stars. Uh, I will say this, there was quite a bit of sizzle. Um, it is closed door, so nothing in the bedroom necessarily happens on page. Um, there were kisses that were very detailed. There was a lot of things that were implied, a lot of things that are talked about, um, just because of the basis of their relationship. Um, so that's not something that you enjoy probably stay away from it. There was also a little tiny bit of mild language, less than a pumpkin, uh, pumpkin spice and not so nice. Um, but both of them had very minimal, but I do want to let you guys know if that is something that, um, you know, you look for and you want to make sure that you're reading stuff with no language and all of that. I'm happy. I'm happy to let you guys know. Um, I really enjoyed the story. Uh, and I really enjoyed the two books together. They were super cute, super fast little rom-coms, perfect for fall. Um, they're set a little bit before Halloween, um, so closer to Thanksgiving probably isn't like the ideal time <laughs> to read them, but they definitely are great fall reads. So if you need something for next year and you enjoy clean um, rom-coms, then definitely look into uh, the two books they were super super cute so yes that was my check-in I really enjoyed it I loved both books uh, but now I'm gonna go mash the potatoes and then go to bed because I have to be up in a couple hours because I have to watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and that starts at 8 o'clock our time um, and I have to be up helping my mom get stuff ready for Thanksgiving so craziness the morning after now that it's a little after midnight and I'm just checking in <laughs> hi so um today was busy as we hosted and I knew it would be I have my retainer in and it changes it gives me a lisp it was a lot of fun we had a blast today uh, we have some fun plans for tomorrow uh, we're gonna go to a small town uh, in Illinois and do some shopping and walking around. Yeah, Thanksgiving was beautiful. We had a wonderful time. And I'm just very thankful today. Uh, thankful for my family. Thankful for you guys. Thankful for the 
the bookish community and just everybody and all the things. I'm just very thankful today. It was a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving and just, yeah. Every day I try to be thankful, but especially, especially today. Tomorrow I'll probably at some point possibly um, pick up Friendship. I think that will be my next jump in just because the buddy read is ending soon and I want to make sure that I am involved in all of that and I don't want to miss this so I'm definitely going to be picking this up and also I'm in the rom-com vibe you know the fall ones really really kept it for me uh, but if I finish that uh, I will probably start or try to finish premonition at Weathers Farm on Saturday but we shall see we'll see what tomorrow holds I hope you guys this Thanksgiving was really really nice I love to hear about it in the comments do you have any traditions um, that you have for us I at least I try to watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade every year um, it just reminds me of when I was younger and my uncle who has passed away um, but we used to um, when we were in the area for for Thanksgiving we would go over and stay with the cousins and he would turn it on Thanksgiving morning we would watch it and then get ready and then go to grandma's house for Thanksgiving uh, and then Friday we would go to the small town and we would just hang out for the day and have a girls day and so those are the traditions for me and your traditions were what was your favorite thing that you ate for Thanksgiving mine personally I made um garlic mashed potatoes I found a new recipe and I mean I altered it some because you can never have enough butter uh, or enough sour cream or garlic <laughs> so we altered the mashed potato recipe a little bit since the last time I made it but today they were perfect they were so good so that was probably definitely my favorite thing um but one of our really close friends who came brought a cheesy casserole, cheesy cauliflower like casserole thing and that was so good. So that was also high up there too, but yeah. Oh, also I want to know, are you a ham, turkey, or pot roast kind of person? So let me know. I want to know all the things. Let's chat. Let's talk about Thanksgiving and traditions and holidays. So. We just got back a few minutes ago from our girls trip that we go on to that little town it was a lot of fun got some really good um, candy they had like a little candy store and it was so good nothing else really um, but we just had a really good 
day but I'm jumping on for this segment and I don't want it to be too long and it could really be its own video but I don't want to do that I do a lot of hauls on my channel anyways <laughs> so I thought I would just include uh, this haul in here because why not so I have a couple different things but I will start with the ones that I got today while we were out so after we went to the little town we went to a uh, thrift store that wasn't too far and I found Head Games by Tim Downs. I'd never heard of this before um, but the back like the tagline kind of intrigued me and the spine is what grabbed me but it is released by Thomas Nelson. I've never read anything by Tim Downs before but I know that he is um, I've heard of him before I just haven't read anything by him and typically I don't do this but uh, I wanted to redo the tagline because that's what really drew me in. It's someone wants you dead but he doesn't want to kill you. He wants you to do it for him. So that seems like it's gonna be intriguing. So I got this one today from Goodwill and it was like $1.50 or something like that. And then we went to a half price books not too far from my cousin's house. And that one, I remember, I don't really care for. Um, I've been there before and just don't find a ton of stuff. That's, I showed you the clips, not the greatest, um, but I did find two books in like random places so always check the romance section as well not just Christian fiction you might find stuff kind of mixed in with regular fiction and stuff like that so that's where I found these books but I found Change of Heart by Courtney Walsh and then I found Forget Me Not by Sarah M. Eden and this cover is absolutely gorgeous and this is book one in the Gents series excited to have found this so those are the books that I got while we were out, and then I'll show you the books that I got in the mail. So I bought these um, through like a buy and sell page on Facebook that I'm a part of, and I got three of the five, four and a half, five books in the Chronicles of the King series by Lynn Austin. So I have book one, Gods and Kings, book two, Song of Redemption. And book three, The Strength of His Hand. And I have been wanting this series for the longest time. Um, I'm absolutely in love with these covers. They're so beautiful, so simplistic, um, but there's just something about them. They always draw my attention. So I do need to get books four and five. I believe there are five books total. Um, so those are on my list, but I did get these today in the mail. And then I got some more book mail, but this is book mail that I ordered from Amazon. So I will be showing that to you now. This are, these are my Christmas goodies um, for part of my Christmas holiday TBR, which will be coming to you soon. First, I got Kiss Me on Christmas by Sarah Monzen. Look how stinking cute this is. It's so small. It's so tiny. Like, look at that. <laughs> but it's adorable. Um, this is a novella that Sarah released in a novella collection that was the bind up but I don't remember what it was called and I don't remember who the authors, other authors were um, but she announced that she was going to release hers in paperback on its own and I was so excited because look at this cover. It's so fun and Sarah is amazing. I love her stuff so I knew I had to get it. Then I got You and Me by Becky Wade. This is a Misty River romance novella like a Christmas novella that she did. Then I got book five and I believe it's the final book in the series. If I remember correctly I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it is. And that is Christmas Together by Belle Renshaw. This is book five in the Winter Montana series. Um, I'm super excited to read this one because Belle or if you didn't know Emily Haney is absolutely absolutely talented. She's wonderful so I've loved this whole series and if you're looking for a good Christmas series with just good feel good clean sweet rom-coms Emily's your gal they're fabulous and then if you follow me on Instagram uh, you'd have you'll know that a few weeks ago I got the first four books in the Christmas escape series and if you've been on Instagram you know that those books have been taking Instagram by storm and I'm so excited because I got the last three books so now I have all seven and I am so pumped so it's seven books by seven different authors and they're all Christmas themed and yeah so I'm so excited 
The first one I have right here is Later On Will Conspire by Courtney Kiesel. No, I think it's Kiesel. I think it's Kiesel. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a spy book or like he's a spy or something. A spy or like an action person or something. I, I don't know, but I'm excited. I'm so excited. I don't really know much about the series other than people have been raving about it. The covers are adorable and they're Christmas rom-coms and I follow some of the authors, so I'm excited, but like I don't know what each book is about. I just got them because I'm excited. <laughs> then I got Cotswold's Holiday by Casey Stockton. And this one. And like the more I look at these covers, the more I just fall in love with them. There are just so many little things to each one and they're all perfect and they like match without matching if that makes sense like I feel like each book really encompasses what the story is going to be about I can't necessarily guarantee for sure because I haven't read them but they just feel like they really do encompass what the story is going to be about but they and they stay unique but still staying true to the series as a whole so I don't know I'm just really excited and then the last one is a not so holiday paradise by Gracie Ruth Mitchell and I'm super excited for these so those are the books that I got this is a very long video for me to just say that I got more books wow are we surprised no we're all a pretty awesome day the plan for tomorrow is good question uh not when you ask but here we go I'll give it to you anyways uh I'm not 100 sure I don't know if my parents have anything planned but I do know that I am going to be reading Friendship. I believe that's what I want to pick up tomorrow. Try to finish that. Um, and then I'll probably try to start editing this video because it's going to be super long. I apologize. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to start editing this video and then the uh, Christie haul video. That if you did any Black Friday shopping, let me know. I would love to know what you got, what you shopped for. Um, did you get presents? Are you starting that? Did you not shop? Did you go out? Did you do online? I have questions. Let's chat. I love chatting. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I got today. Um, and if you have, what your thoughts were on them. And then if any of these are on your TBR. Um, and so there, of all the books that were nominated, I had most of them. Um, but there were three that I... happy Saturday wanted to do my check-in it is pretty late um, it's probably going on 10 I know I haven't checked in at all today um, nothing that I wanted to do got done so that's been fun I've been sitting here trying to edit I've been trying to edit off and on all day but the program that I use keeps crashing and I can't figure out why like I'll get a good chunk well not even a good chunk like I'll get towards the middle of the beginning <laughs> if that makes sense of my video and it will just stop working so I have to keep force shutting it down and restarting my computer because once the application is open on my computer if it gets closed it doesn't open up again unless I restart my computer so yeah been having a time and a half of that and I hope I can get the footage taken care of because it's no longer on any of my cameras but it's on my computer so I don't know what to do um but I have not read anything yet today I do still want to read some of Friendship if possible um I woke up pretty early this morning but just kind of laid around on my phone for a while did some Christmas shopping got a lot of Christmas shopping done today online um and then I went out and helped my dad put up our, we cleaned the gutters and put up our Christmas lights outside. That took quite a few hours. And then I came in and kind of took a bit of a nap. <laughs> so yeah, and then after that I was just kind of watching some episodes of Criminal Minds because 
I didn't want to tackle the beast that has been editing on my laptop that is currently <laughs> not working. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to do some troubleshooting with my um, editing software. I use Wondershare from Mora. Not loving it. So do some troubleshooting maybe. And then I'm going to try to read Friendship by Savannah Scott. I look like a hooligan. I'm exhausted. But after forever it felt like of troubleshooting Filmora and then way too long editing I officially think my dad helped me get the problem fixed possibly I'm really not sure um, what the problem was but I was able to edit my Nashville haul my haul from the Christie's and for a minute we thought that my footage was corrupted and y'all I would have lost my ever living marbles because that would have meant that all of my vlog footage would have been corrupted because they came from the same round. But thank the Lord, it was not. It was just an issue with Filmora. Just needed to work itself out. It's okay. It's okay. We got it fixed. Um. So yeah, got that edited. Working on an ex on exporting it now. Reading did not happen. I just want you to know I've been so focused on editing this and getting this fixed. Got the books that I wanted to get finished finished this week, the my Thanksgiving ones. after 10 on Sunday and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I did not get any reading done today we went out to eat after church and then we were out there for a while then we went to Bath and Body Works and I got some stuff from Bath and Body Works uh, and then came home turned around and took the dog to get his nails trimmed and then came home from that and my brother and I have been sitting down and trying to finish off my dad's Christmas gift for the last many hours. So, uh, no reading was done. I really thought I was going to be able to. That was the goal. I was so gung-ho, but nope. That was the video. This is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you wanted to see, if you enjoyed it anything like that so yeah i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving and week of thanksgiving and all the things and it was wonderful to talk to you um yeah talk to you <laughs> don't forget you can check out my blog at for the love of christian fiction .com. you can check out my instagram at for the love of christian fiction and all my other links are in the description box below i'll see you guys next time bye